Alright everybody, we are now live. Let's quickly knock that volume down a little bit, switch up the music. We're going to be doing Ark of Osiris. I mean, I think that would be pretty obvious based off the title. So yeah, we're going to be doing some Ark today. Hopefully we win. That's the hope, of course. And hopefully we have some fun along the way. If there are any problems with the audio, please feel free to let me know so I can adjust it and mess around with it, whatever it may be. Uh, we'll just start off by reading chat real quick. Um, Bohemius the third, hopefully I didn't butcher that. I am right now grinding Rise of Kingdoms and farming, so you went to play um to play Stormworks. So so I'm so happy about this. Well, I'm I'm quite happy um, that you're here today as well. Docty says, let's go, let's go, let's get right into it. Before I quickly switch alliances, I do first of all I want to recall my troops. And actually I want to set my hospital. My hospital's clean, alright, that's good. I'm gonna quickly grab these mobilization rewards because my arc starts in 15 minutes, so I got some time. Uh, healing speed ups, in my opinion, are the best here. I think I'd rather speed ups again. Healing again. I'd take crystal keys. Um, I'll take the formation chest. I'm not too fast by teleports, to be honest. That's dumb when you hover over it. It selects the, the things. So you kind of got to make sure you choose the right stuff. I'll take the wood there. Uh, definitely the formations. Here, I'm going to take the 50k extender. I think that's probably the best. You could argue the gloves are pretty good, eh? I'm not, I might take the gloves over the extender. But then again, I also need, I need this for like off seasons and stuff. Here, I'm just going to take the four hour boost for sure. Astro Bunny Pile Sculptures. I'm going to take the legendary armor and more Astro Bunny Pile Sculptures. I'll take these healing speed ups. Once again, I might take the army expansion for the KVK. I do know, obviously, that like the formations and stuff are good, but I need the expansions more. Uh, and here is five, no, four more Astro Bunny Pile Sculptures, which I will take. There we go. That's Shabani Power, right? Yeah. Alright, I mean, that's that's not bad. Pretty good rewards, to be honest. Some pretty good speed ups there. There's some crystal keys, you got the formation stuff. And then I'm, I'm probably going to stick with the expansion here. We've got the 50% army expansions. More Shabani Power Sculptures, like 11 total out of this event. More speed ups, another army expansion. It's pretty good rewards out of this, to be honest. And there's the final rewards we get. 10 total gold heads, which I think is not bad. That's like 20,000 gems worth of value. I'll take it. And we'll pop open these chests as well. That's a pretty nice screen, I must say. All right, let's quickly pop open those chests and then we'll switch alliances. Armaments, legendary, bang, wedge formation. Rubbish. Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. That's probably the worst four legendary armaments I've got in my life. <laughs> Nothing here is like even close to remotely good. It, not even for any troop type, they're all just trash. Wedge formation, again, I mean these are epic, I don't care that much. These two are okay, but I don't need like that level of an armament, they're still too weak. Alright, alright, before we switch alliances, I do need to quickly claim these chests, because I don't want to lose them, and then we'll switch over to the main arc alliance, and I'll set up my lineup. I'm going to do a little bit of adjusting, we're almost preparing for the KVK right now by giving our murder ball a bit of a test. And I'm also a rally leader as well, so going to be a bit of adjusting going on, but should be okay. There are a few chests in here i got to claim though, because you know, these speed ups and these VIP points, they're worth the, um, the time. I'd say just pushing a button, say it's worth it. Not too much effort required. Anyways, I am quite excited for this KVK though. Also, if you're watching the stream right now, do consider pushing the like button. It's very much appreciated. I'm going to like my own stream. I forgot to do that, you know. Still got the um, the tactics inside of me to try and boost it. Right, this should be almost all the chests because I climbed some this morning. We should almost be done now with all the chests here. Right, there's the last few chests done. And there's probably one I missed. Yeah, I missed this one up here. New chest. Can't even claim it. It's probably broken. The iron chest isn't. There we go, now I got it. Alright, uh, let's quickly grab these campaign rewards and stuff, just because it's here. And I haven't logged on since reset, so... I was just waiting for the arc instead. I'll grab these as well. And I will grab the VIP points. And then we'll switch over to the other alliance and start messing around with our lineup and stuff. Alright, let's switch over. Oh, another gift. Okay. I need to join B underscore 34. I don't know where it is. There it is. I think he's got the whitelist thing set up. Uh, it's 4.50 a.m. in my country. What am I doing? Um, 
what are you doing streaming? Uh, stream later. Uh, I can't stream later, it's just the time for the Ark of Osiris. I don't normally stream at this time because most people in my audience aren't on at this hour. Besides like the Australian audience. 20 minutes? This is a very late arc. It's 10 minutes late. Looks like a fair matchup. We do have apparently 5 billion more kill points. But I don't know who in our thing is rocking 22 billion kill points between 9 people. I mean, that doesn't sound too wrong. Right? I'm currently one of the four people here. Oh no, yeah, these are bigger players. We don't have the biggest arc right now because what happened is we have Osiris League. So a lot of people just said Osiris League. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know this existed. I've played 41 matches of arc. That is insane. That's crazy. I didn't even know I played 41 matches of arc or Osiris. My current win streak is one. My longest was six. I mean, that's GG's. I've been given MVP once. Oh yeah, I used to run my own alliance. I was like the best player in that alliance. But yeah, I didn't know I played 41 Ark or Osiris. That's actually insane. All right, we do have to fiddle around with our lineup a little bit because I'm a rally leader and my rally is going to be Azul Lang Henry, I think. Oh, well, I forgot, I think Azul Lang Henry is my rally. Let me see what, uh, what I was told inside the uh, strategy. Uh, on the main Discord server here, uh, it's 8.50 p.m. for you. Well, I mean, at least that's a good timing. Let's see, B underscore 34. Versaris in 10 minutes, it's not, but okay. Uh, here we go. I will rally top enemy altar. Okay, well, that doesn't, I think I'll just use the Henry Zulang. Henry Zulang's probably the best thing I own. I mean, if I should if I was expertise, I'd rock him, but he's not. He might still be stronger though, maybe. He's missing all the stats here though. He's missing a lot of the stats here. I might, I might um, not rally with him. We can still try it. I mean, it's just gonna be the secondary. Maybe I put the gear on Henry though. No, I put. I need to take the gear off Henry real quick. I oh, know. I forgot they changed up how the um the equipment stuff works. I haven't touched it in a very long time. So because I'm rallying with Zulang Henry, that march is pretty much out of commission. This one march here. So let's change my slot number two. You know what? Let's actually switch this. These slots. Let's make these into my other marches, right? So Zulang with Henry. Zulang is the primary in this situation, Henry is the secondary. This is my rally march. I have to rally with this, can't use these commanders. Then for the second march, it's going to be my Buduka Shobani Pal. Uh, this is just going to be like one of my open field marches. I'm probably going to rock T4 on this march. And that can just go in slot number three. Um, how long will it take for me to expertise a Shobani Pal? Honestly, I don't know. I'm not too far off. It shouldn't take too long, I would guess. Like, probably within this KVK. And my third march is probably going to just be the YSG there. I'll rock this with T5 for now and I can switch it mid-match if I need. Can't scroll up for some reason. I don't know what arc oh, I'm typing, that's fine. Alright, there we go. Shovel Pile with YSG and I'll save that as slot number 3. And then number 4, I'm just going to save this as number 4 as well. And I'm going to save as number 5 so I don't send out the same march multiple times. Like, um, different marches multiple times. Okay, let me now switch up the gear. Henry has the gear on I put on my home. So Henry's gear is which set? Number one, two, it's number two. All right, so you can have, oh, the gear's a little bit mixed up, but that's okay. You can actually use this. This is saved into slot two. And then Boudicca Prime is gonna rock this. And this is saved into slot one. There we go. So that, that's the gear set up. And armaments I also need to change up. Zul Lang's got the best ones. Henry has the second best set. Which is, I don't know which slot this one is. Is this number one? Yeah, right? No, that's the Zul Lang armaments. These are Boudicca's armaments. These are Henry's number four. Okay. So I'm going to switch on to the Herman number four. Yep. Perfect. Alright, there we go. Ark of Osiris March is actually set up. Last time I was rocking my open field marches with no gear. So, this is definitely better. And we've also got the rally with the Zul Lang Henry. Can you rate my infantry lineup in gears? If you tell me I'm, yeah, I'm not going to open Discord right now, but if you send them in the chat, I'm happy to rate them. I've got three more gold heads I forgot to use on my show bunny pile. What am I thinking? Am I, am I crazy? I think I'm crazy. There we go, now we're at 28 out of 75. I mean, he's got, well, after this, he's got two skills left. That's not bad. He should be done, maybe, by Kingsland. I'd have expertise to show by Nepal. 
And that means I can rally with him as well in my arc. And I'll probably use Henry, a Shobani Pal, or a Shobani Pal Henry. Probably a Shobani Pal primary for the rage. Should I run Henry primary in the Henry's Yulang rally? I don't know what's better. I can't remember. I think Zulang primary might still be better, but Henry is also an option. I mean, it's in Sark of Osiris. I'm sure it'll be fine regardless, but I'm not normally a rally leader, so. And I haven't done a real big look into what the best rallies are for quite a while. I also want to pop some boosts for this because my march is. Um, we're only playing with nine players. I'm not gonna pop the 25 expansion until I see who our opponents are. But I'm happy to use a defense boost for now. Uh, DM, let's see. Oh, that was just someone I was messaging about something. For a crystal tech guide I might be making very soon. Just wondering what credit they want me to give them because I'm using one of their guides. Is this a Zenith skin? Because that's a super cool skin. That is the Zenith skin, right? One sec, let me take a look. That's not it, this is. It was the Zenith skin. This skin looks absolutely insane. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> this skin looks ridiculous. This is actually super, that's probably one of the coolest looking skins I've seen. I know I've seen the stats on it and everything. I just haven't really looked at the design in game and that is super cool. Now I see why everyone in like the, um, everyone's been saying that this skin was crazy. I just haven't looked at it, but damn it is crazy. That is like top notch on that skin right there. Some of these legendary skins are boring, but like, I mean, this thing is, it's, it's, it goes hard. Does anyone in the chat have this skin? Again, can they donate it to me? Speaking of skin, is my city skin set, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, that's fine. Um, what's my kingdom? I'm in 1534. Open up this legendary chest. How long till the arc starts now? Let's see. 12 minutes. God damn. Oh, uh, we can do Sunset Canyon. Mm -hmm. Can't seem to find it. Um, can't seem to find a user. If you just pop these coordinates in, you'll find my thing. Here we go. Here's my coordinates: nine four nine one zero one nine, and you can type C one two one eight six. Um, you have it for thirty days in the avatar frame. Does that count? No, it doesn't. <laughs> I mean, thirty days is like a KVK worth of that skin, but still, it's, it's always the permanent skin that truly matters. I bought the VIP shop, I have, right? That's good. Anyways, we were gonna do Sunset Canyon real quick. Sunset Canyon, we're gonna do. And we can try Panda Hub. My gear's all wacky right now. I'm probably gonna lose like instantly, but it's okay. Two of my marchers won't have gear. No, one of them. Have I not been running Herman on my offense in Canyon? Oh no, there he is. Second area is all like. No, okay, then they all have gear, right? Besides him. That's fine. You should have a Shibani Pal. Shibani Pal's here. Alright, so Nebu, you have to come up for a second. Rudika should have a Shebani Pile. And then Nebu should have a Cyrus. There we go. That's right now. Still lost, but it's it's right. Probably shouldn't be doing this, so I'm just gonna keep losing because I've got no equipment, but hey. Am I in the main alliance? Uh no, I'm not in the main alliance anymore. I'm in B underscore 34 instead of B-34. But that skin is actually really good for me. I'm not playing Archer Commanders right now and probably won't do so for half a year. You're waiting for the perfect KVK to use it? Yeah, why not get value out of it? Did I lose against that farm account? I know I won. Okay. I was going to say that would be that would be like very bad. <laughs> I could probably beat this. If you just search B underscore 34, you'll find the alliance. I mean, you don't even have to search the kingdom, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I mean, I'll beat that. Then I'm going to get revenge spammed. I had 69 troops. Oh no, I don't care about that. I don't care about that. All these players are too good for me right now. Nope. The dude. Nope. My canyon lineup's just bad. I don't have enough expertise commanders or equipment. I only have equipment for three marchers and I don't care that much about canyon, so. Let me see, do I have a 25% expansion? Because if I want to use one, I'd like to make sure I have one. I do. I swear, I hate when people do revenge bait. I mean, who cares? It's just Canyon. 
I had to win um seven or six canyon fights in a row, so I just revenge spam some guy's spam, uh, farm account. <laughs> I don't go through the past, the past glory as well. We haven't finished it yet. I'm waiting for the gold heads. That's really everyone cares about. That's the final stage. The middle stage is okay as well. I mean, it's not that bad. What's the other, um, other kingdom at? The other main alliance we're up against. I don't know where the RCF is. Here it is. I bet they're not done. No, they're not. We're further ahead, huh? I think we are. Is that further ahead? I'd 72%. It's not that far ahead. Pretty close. Welcome to the stream, Iron Dragonite. It's been a while since I've seen you on a stream, right? When's past four? I gotta quickly check that. We gotta just, the runes are today. That's one day. And then it, this is two days plus the 12 hours. So three days, 12 hours. What's that? So it says Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night. Thursday night. And then Friday I've got off from school because Friday's a good Friday for Easter. So we're going to be doing a lot of KVK, a lot of KVK, and I've also got to study for exams. I actually had a tactic back then, I deleted all my marches uh, when attacking a very weak player and then did revenge five times, so I can't complain, I guess. I did the same thing, I did. I still do that sometimes if I have to win Canyon for whatever reason. Is this the person that wanted to show me their... No, it doesn't seem like it. Someone said they wanted to show me their commanders and equipment and stuff. I got a Call of Dragons ad. From Brooklyn, USA. Nice. Are you, are you drinking now? Is that what the... Is that a whiskey? A whiskey glass? Eight minutes till Arcosaris. Is this the... Um, oh, no. Here we go. This is best with the infantry lineup. Okay. I don't even think I need to rate this. I just give it a 10 by looking at the equipment. <laughs> um, Some good armaments there. Good armaments and equipment. So, good equipment there. Alright. Those armaments look insane. We've only got three marches right now. You got three bloody stack marches. I mean, I'd finish the gear on this march. Yeah, trying to pass out. <laughs> uh, my king's line happens on Good Friday for once. Little this blessing us with good timing. I know that's pretty nice. Um, this is just finish this set. Chuck epic equipment on it. Whatever. Just make sure it's got a full set of gear before you fully run it. The yeah, armor's there. They're fine. I mean, yeah, that's a very solid lineup. I'm guessing you're running what Gorgo Lauche, CPO Sargon, maybe, or CPO Tarek and Linguan Sargon, something like that. But yeah, that's a really stacked, um, basically full talented set of infantry gear that you're just missing the talent in the ring. And your second set, double talented accessories, which is crazy. Uh, Skippy Tarek, okay, so you're running CPO Tarek, I'm guessing, then Gorgo, obviously, Lauche, and Linguan Sargon. And yeah, that's just a, that's a massive, um, like a very strong, like, infantry lineup. Um, good night, dude. Good night, Iron Dragon. Do I have Nevsky? No. But, um, I don't know. He has Nevsky. But yeah, I don't run Nevsky. Nevsky's uh, actually a bad commander. <laughs> I hate Nevsky. He's such a pro. If anyone wants to even run Nevsky nowadays, you're insane. It's like running a Dragon Lancer. Except the one guy that's commented on my last, like, five videos talking about Dragon Lancer. Um, yeah, I think Nevsky's about the same level. Like, this guy, every single time I upload my videos, he's like the first comment. He's like, but what about Dragon Lancer? Like, I know he's taking the piss, but it's hilarious. He's like, I made a video yesterday about the murderable, um, murderable principles, like how to make a good murderable and stuff. And then this guy came in and was like, it's only a good murderable if you have Dragon Lancer. I have to finish uh, crystalling this out. Yo, thank you very much, Iron Dragonite, with the sticker. Good luck. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate the support. Appreciate it very much. I think you've also donated before. I think you take the you take the cake as the person that's donated the most to the streams. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Not you, Syndicate. I meant the guy with the screenshot, but uh, he has Nevsky. Maybe another march with Nevsky join. Yeah, probably. I mean, everyone usually runs a few of the other marches as well. Mark of Osiris in five minutes. Anyways, enjoy your drink, Dragonite. Or drinks, plural. I don't know if you're drinking one or two. I'm about to hit 42 Ark of Osiris matches played. Welcome to the stream, Dasher. I've made zero kill points. Oh, wait, you get to see your kill points for a match. I mean, that's definitely nice. Because you can't see your own kill points unless you get someone to click on your city, right? What's this? Oh, we won most of these. Oh, no, we lost a lot. Did we lose the last Ark, really? I, I forgot to play on the last Ark. Last arc, I didn't play. 
Should I get Scipio Prime or Zhu Lang? I'm not a, uh, I'm not that far and just about to get in KVK3, so which one would help me the best? I mean, it depends on which commanders you have. If you've got infantry commanders, then you go with Scipio. If you've got just YSG, I'd actually get Herman Prime, not Zhu Lang. That's my recommendation. But yeah, if you've got someone like an Alexander the Great, you get CPO Prime. If you got YSG, I'd get Herman. Zhu Lang's never really the best first archer commander. Unless you've got someone like Boudicca or Henry, or even a Shobani Pal already. Which I'm guessing you don't, since you're just about to hit Season 3. Actually, the question should be Lao Che or Zhu Lang. Yeah, that's also a good point. I forgot about Lao Che. Um, if you have Alexander the Great, you do get Lao Che. So really, the question should be Lao Che or Herman. And um, it depends on the commanders. If you got Alex, you go Herman. If you got YSG, so if you got Alex, you go Herman. No, no. What am I saying? If you got Alex, you go Lao Che. If you got YSG, you go Herman. So uh, I've spoken about so many commanders in the last few days. It like blends together. Alexander the Great. The amount of times I've said Zhu Lang and Lao Che and interchangeably, like I call Lao Che Zhu Lang and I call Zhu Lang Lao Che, is ridiculous. <laughs> You're going to bench Guan upon the next infantry commander drop? Yeah, that's probably probably bound to happen. I mean, he's definitely the oldest commander that you have. Not to say he's bad, but he's definitely not the best compared to some of the other ones nowadays. My thoughts, yeah, I'd say it's probably bound to happen, especially if we see more smite commander or something. That chain Herman are the safest investments right now, hands down. Yeah, that's very true. I think Herman is easily the safest investment in the game right now. Lao Chai probably close second. Just Herman can't lose much value pretty much no matter what they release unless they do something super crazy that just copies his exact kit, but I doubt that Lilith would do that. So Herman's definitely like the safest investment right now. Ark is in two minutes. And Lancho is a pretty safe investment. I mean, even though he's like smite damage and all, but besides that, he's not he's not the most risky thing. I think that they're just going to continue to add smite commanders, and he's just crazy strong. It's like, I don't think he's going to lose that much value. And when the new calves come out, he should get more value if he can counter them pretty well. My favorite thing to talk about, though, is the fact that I've called when Guan Yu was going to die, and I've called when um, Artemisia was going to die, and every single time I do it, people get mad at me. I said about a month before Chisco did that Guan Yu is not meta anymore. Chisco said it, everyone accepted it. I just like to just like to mention I'm the trendsetter right now. <laughs> Actually don't know to be honest, if you run two marches, uh, I most likely would do and I'll just assume the next infantry is Smike, one CPO and Loud Chase slash new infantry. I mean you can do that, I don't see why it'd be wrong. But um, I think that if you have Gorgo, she's just gonna be better with Loud Chai. Or Loud Chai with CPO and that new command with Gorgo. I mean it really does depend on it depends on like the stuff that you get. Like the stuff that we see with the new commanders. Okay, thanks. I think I'll do Zulang or Herman because my YSG is my strongest legendary. Thanks, no problem. Personally, I'd recommend the Herman. He's probably better with YSG than Zulang. Just because Herman's got March speed and defense, and he boosts AoE damage as well. Zulang with YSG, a lot of people say it's too slow. I feel like Guan with his AoE silence is still stronger um, than Gorgo's single. That's true in terms of like the, the potency of the debuff, but the fact that he's just too squishy sometimes makes it so... Yeah, his silence is really good, but it's like, it's not as valuable if he gets destroyed too quickly. Well, one minute. But yeah, I mean, I don't think Guan's horrible. He's not horrible at all, but he's not a commander I'd tell people to go and invest in. But Zulang gives you a second chain, uh, training march right from the start, that is also true. I mean, they both got their arguments, Herman and Zulang. I think Herman's a slightly better open field choice, but in the end, if you're gonna get both of them, you might as well just choose whichever one you'd prefer. Zulang has 30 percent health, shouldn't um, he be tankier than Herman? Herman has the ability to get a pretty decent all damage reduction, and also the march speed is just really good to have out of him. And just having march speed really does make a massive difference on the open field, like 15% makes you way quicker. If you're gonna run a Zulang first, I would go with um, I would go with like the triple line formation or something just to give yourself a little bit of march speed off the start. Where is it? Yeah, I'd do this. Just run this formation. Just even just with a few like even if they're shitty elements, just some elements, just to make yourself a tad bit quicker. Two seconds to arc starts. That's Canyon. All right. Hopefully this arc has people in it. <laughs>
I've done a live stream before. Okay, yeah, they all showed up. I've done a live stream before. We had no enemies. 78 mil, 93 mil, 78 mil, 80 million, 77 million, 70 million, 88 million, 46 million, and 54 million. These two accounts are pretty much useless. It's just these main ones at the front that matter. Uh, and 79. That seems like the old account though. Number 5. Oh no, it's got a billion kill points. Maybe it is an old account. This is definitely like an alt alliance, but... See, some of them kill points. Oh, that's pretty low. Uh, that's not bad. But also kind of low. This account's definitely more stacked. Probably the most stacked out of them. Pretty alright kill points. Nothing too crazy. There's no like 9 billion players yet. I'm waiting for like the, the 50 million power account to have like 9 billion kill points. That one had 3 billion, right? Yeah, so it's either these two accounts seem like the most threatening. This person, oh, that doesn't matter. And this one also doesn't really matter. And this person has like a billion. I mean, yeah, that's, that seems like it's be a pretty okay match. What are we, what are we rocking? We've got a 6 billion power player. Uh, at kill points, 3.4, but only 68 million power. 2 billion. 789 million. 1.3 billion. I mean, yeah, I think it's pretty close. I don't know. I don't think it's. I don't. I wouldn't say this one side like straight up stronger than the other. We've got more kill points. Uh, it certainly does. However, many people take um like Zhu Lang is the squishiest commander they've seen, even though that's not true. Yeah, he's not the squishiest. I think YSG is squishier. <laughs> no, but he's definitely he's definitely not the squishiest. There's some other squishier archer commanders out there, especially. Only 68 million? Yeah, Oscar, you're only sitting at 68 million. Is it is it a glitch or um, are you actually that down bad? That guy must be free to play. He must be. To be fair, I'm like 61 million and I'm like, oh, 68 million, that's kind of low. I'm the lowest player, like powered player here by far. I think I'm second lowest on kill points behind um, Banefire. But you know, this guy must be like some some free to play peasant or something, if I'm being honest. Give me Daddy Furious vibes, low power, high KP. Yeah, see, that's the strap. It is the strap of Arco Osiris. The thing is, um, you would rather have high power players. Like, I think that if I was 100 million power, I'd be way more valuable. For Arc. I mean, KVK, not really, because of the matchmaking. And then also, I guess it is matchmaking. Good luck, I agree, Oscar. Good luck to us. Hopefully, we win. I think I'm top side obelisk, so I'm gonna go up there. And I'm just gonna be rallying their altar the whole time. I think that's what my thing is. My task. Okay, attack. I'm gonna march these two marches. I'm gonna leave the Henry in my city. Okay, why is Ethel fled dispatching? See, this is what I was saying. They should have it so that it only dispatches the marches you want from the selected area. And there we go. Now I sent my booty back to my city. Uh, I sent a suggestion that. You should be able to like only select here. Oscar from enemy team. No, Oscar's on our team. He's just some free to play peasant, you know. Yeah, let's join these rallies. Um, no, I don't want to put my Henry in them. I don't care about my Nebu. He can go. Nebu with um Sundok. Good cab march, you know. One of the best in the game, actually. And then we'll send some Honda. Honda El Cid. Another one of the best cab marches in the game. Oh, I'm going to pop a 25% expansion. I forgot about that. Okay, um, is someone going to grab the outpost so I can grab them on the way if I need? And then once we get this obelisk, I'll pull it in and I'll start rallying stuff. I thought Oscar from the enemy team was in the chat. I've had some people from, um, from the chat come in and start, like, saying your team was shit and you guys sucked and we beat them. It was hilarious. Um, Neven YT, welcome to the stream. These cab marches are quick, man. Cab rallies go fast. I'm probably going to end up swarming down a rally. It's usually how these arcs start. But yeah, those people from the enemy team that one time who came in the chat definitely was funny. I was surprised I knew kiddos. What can you say? I'm pretty sure they were older than me. <laughs> um, I can grab this probably a bit quicker, couldn't I? Let's see. 42 seconds. 13. I uh, see I'm making big brain plays. Uh, you're an Archer pure. I've actually put 15 gold heads. No, 30 gold heads into Richard. I know, I'm not a purist. And I put one gold into Honda as a joke at one point. 
I think I put one gold into Honda. Let's take a look while I walk here. There's nothing too pressing going on right now. Honda. Yep, one gold then. <laughs> but otherwise, I'm Archer Pure in terms of the marches I run. I don't think... My, my Richard might have some kills. I don't think he should, though. If he does, it'd be like getting hit while I was barbing or something. Let's see. Um, doesn't tell me. Oh, there we go. 776,000. Don't know where they came from. I definitely didn't get that many kills with him, but he has those kills. Do Ark of Osiris kills count towards your kills? Because I think I've used him in Ark like once. I'm an infantry pure living that sad life. Yeah, it is sad. I'm, I'm coming for you if I ever see you in KVK. I'm going to gun straight towards your marches. You don't see as many pure players nowadays. Most people run mixed marches. I'm guessing there's a rally there, but we don't. We have one coming in as well, right? Yep. I don't know where they're coming from, but I'm happy to swarm the rally if that's what need be. If that if that's what the forces dictate, I'll swarm the rally. Uh, what is this garrison? Empty cab. Gotcha. We're gonna lose this. That's a Joan primary. I mean, isn't that a really good arc rally or something? I don't have any cabs to put in the garrison. They're all inside the rally. Oh, they're all inside of um. Yeah, they're all inside of our rallies. There's no way we keep this alive. Probably gonna lose it. They're gonna have to swarm out the garrison once they take it. I mean, I could go in with archers, couldn't I? <laughs> Let's go in just to quickly try and reinforce it, and then I can hop out. I mean, there was someone going in anyways. I think we should keep this. This rally's going down pretty quick, actually. Brian Marshall Gayton. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully I didn't butcher that name. Um, if I needed to, I'll hop back in the garrison again. But once again, I think we should take this thing out. Is the... Are we going to win this? I think we should. I don't see how they're going to take the garrison out that quick. Yeah, now we got this for sure. There we go. Uh, something's getting swarmed. R.I.P. that rally, goddamn. They've got a solid garrison going on right now. I'm gonna be prepared to port in. In a minute. There's nothing I can really do while we wait. Might as well watch this rally get swarmed out. Cow cow. Definitely one of the most meta marches I've seen. How about the Honda? Oh, the Honda's going running free. They might be going to that side only. I mean, we're not gonna win this because it's a full garrison. They didn't, the way they rallied our obelisk and they filled theirs. I mean, they must have a lot of garrisons going, Jesus. Kind of forced to be a pure infantry, got 15% defense theme, 5% health from Greece. I mean, yeah, I guess that makes sense, eh? I don't think this rally is going to win. I think it's just going to lose to the garrison. Alright, how long do we can pull it in? 30 seconds. Oh, wait, we've got to check. Um, the garrison got destroyed. <laughs> Somehow it was a defeat. But it, oh, this is the rally. This is the rally. I don't care about that. Our garrison didn't trade good. Who would have guessed? What about the swarm, though? I think a swarm would have done alright. Actually, yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty okay. Considering I was swarming a, a calf rally, and then the Boudicca show. Oh, Boudicca show any part really did did um hit pretty hard. Got down. All right, I'm gonna teleport in about here. Oh, someone's there. Someone's there. There we go. All right. We go back to my city. And we're going to quickly see any close rallies. No. I'm going to start rallying bottom altar. And I'll fill that obelisk once I have the chance. I haven't gone for the sky altar yet, which is fine. Someone already set a rally on it. I mean, that was meant to be my thing. But I guess I will rally Shrine of War instead. Then. Probably mixed him up, but that doesn't really matter. Archers only. Okay. All right. Uh, cab reinforce this. Right, let me switch to number two, three, number three. All right, cabs. One hundred ninety-seven thousand left. Um, I didn't choose the infantry life. The infantry life chose me. That's a fire line. It goes deep. That line goes real deep. Okay. We're also gonna march out. Not you. Switch, switch. We're gonna march out them. And they're gonna turn off that march. There we go. Let's bind this to one. I didn't actually put the right number of troops in the march. 
Okay, so we're gonna go for Shrine next. How long till the rally dispatches? How many troops have we got in it? 400,000. I think I might cancel it then. And then re rally, because that's not enough troops. Alright, so clear. There we go, archers. Bang. We win up. Cav is this a cav rally or an archer rally? It's a cav and archer rally. I'm guessing they mean it's an archer rally because it's got archer commanders. Uh, let's put in the uh, let's put in my booty girl. Okay. I guess we're now rocking one open field march. Not exactly the murder ball I was hoping for, but hey, if it wins the arc, it wins the arc. No one's filled the rally, I don't think. Oh, there's a few people coming. 400,000 still. I'm not going to launch it if it's only got 400k. I mean, I guess I will, because we have to launch it eventually. 90 people are inside the obelisk. I was, ah, we could keep that alive. Are they just going to try rally the obelisk the whole entire time? Oh, he's swarming with his Alex. You know, he's going to take it down. His Alex swarm is so going to destroy our garrison. It's actually screwed our garrison's Dunskis. All right, this rally is probably not going to leave, but we'll see how it goes. What have we got to lose, eh? Uh, how long till the arc opens up? Three minutes. I'll start marching there. Because I'm pretty sure we're, we're going to get ready for it soon. This song is bad. No one likes this song. It's a better song. Alright, going down to... Oh, I see how this scale to rally goes. Um, not good because we're fighting against the Nevsky, but it could be a shitty Nevsky. There's a chance, there's a chance. It is a pretty rubbish Nevsky. It's probably low HP. Oh, someone's reinforcing with their cow cow. We should still take that down. I don't see why. It still looks like it could be a win. Alright, Zulang is... Oh, we won instantly. It was empty. Okay. Should we march up to the Ark from there? <laughs> Ambush the enemies? A poor way message me saying Farm Alliance. Don't know what that's about. We'll find out later. This music hits different. It so does. Copyright free steampunk music. <laughs> From the Unwind Station. I think that's who made it, right? Yeah, Unwind Station. It does hit different. Let's see what Apollo said now. Want to see my farm? I'll say later. Alright, one minute till the arc. We could get this. I don't see why we, sh we wouldn't be able to. I think our o open field strength would outpower him, alright? This guy's gonna come take on the whole entire garrison by himself. The Zulang Henry. We should take that guy out. I don't see. Oh, I mean, it's, it's 400,000 to 200,000. I don't think they'd win. Especially not one-on-one. -on -one. If they had multiple marchers, they could probably take it. No, they're not gonna get that. Should I chase him? <laughs> Oh, uh, that's a Ethelfled YSG. I'm not going to leave that as the garrison. So then they'll just come back and attack it. I don't have a cab march, so I can't get the Ark, but I will let someone else get the Ark. Is there a smart way of playing AOC? I zero my ci I zero the cities the second I get the chance to. Yeah, that's definitely a good way to play um, Ark of Osiris. Uh, this is a Minna Belly. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's it's a Minamoto Belisarius. Like I could, I couldn't, I couldn't not attack it. I'm not even running Zulang. I'm running YSG, and I'm still destroying that thing. Jesus, he's gonna have to march. His, by the time he marches, his Minna back over here. It's over. But yeah, that's fine. This is that 40 mil power account. I'm pretty sure. 
they got our shrine right now, which isn't good, but this person's probably gonna go take it back. That's nice. And we've got their, we've got their shrine. <laughs> this person's just marching their march to death in there. We're just holding on to their shrine, which is definitely nice. The longer we hold that shrine, the better. Um, we lost our obelisk though, which is crazy. Should we start rallying their city? I could rally that city when I get back to mine, and we should be able to kill it. See what my, let me see what garrison they're rocking. If we can rally that city, that'd be good because we'll kick him out of there. And I'm definitely down to rally it just to get rid of him. Um, this person's a problem. I mean, worst case, they killed the one arc march and we take it back. Someone's around. No, Oscar's getting rallied. The peasant free to play. No. <laughs>
and they got, oh, I was about to say they had the desert as so we took that back. I think every single time the arc comes around, we lose a few buildings and then we just take them all back. Kind of, kind of the, um, the flow of Ark vs. Iris. Um, I don't know. Apollo asked, I've asked, I've been asked this question a bit. We've got an alliance that's a Cyrus League winner, like who on won every single season, and we don't use it as the main alliance. I don't know why. Couldn't tell you. I think it used to be the main alliance, and they went through like a rebranding phase. Like this is the new 1534 losers, or something like that. And then that's why it's not the main alliance. See, this is how you're supposed to swarm down on the garrison just for the enemies. In case they're wondering. You rock a Herman. Right, YSG, uh, Boudicca with an Ashurbani pal who's a rally commander and will just get you extra damage on that building. Boudicca is just going to stand in the AoE, that's how cool I am actually. Alright, let's march um, to the obelisk. <laughs> I'm going to the obelisk. <laughs> Can we take their obelisk from swarming? I mean, I think it's possible. It's the last building that I have besides the shrine, which we can just get back. It's probably that annoying Alex guy that's in there anyways. I mean, this will be funny. Swarm down a city maybe if we get the chance. Hmm? <laughs> there are any GGs flying around in the chat. If we lose now, it'd be very funny. He's got 8 million kill points. This is the only, um, like, massive player in this section. And that guy. They have put two players down here to deal with like four of us. Even we're at their other obelisk. <laughs> let's just let's just take the obelisk. Let's get a rigid bro. And do they not notice us or they just don't care? I'm confused. I think they just don't give a shit. We walk to the obelisk and they're like, okay, this is just ours now. And they just don't care. Oh no, they got one person. Who's no, they're going for not somewhere else. Cleopatra. Oh no, they're going to field fight with Cleopatra. Now that makes sense. Is this like the early game kingdom? I'm very confused. No, because I had the Nebu. And they've had a few Nevskis and stuff. This must have been like a full garrison as well. It was pretty tanky. I, mean, I guess it's Richard going for the empty shrine. Not empty, but almost empty. I mean, I hope they don't try to take the altar back. Oh, there's someone in there. Okay, I'll hop in there if we need. If we need. This can't be an old, like, a, a new kingdom, can it? 2046, it's not new. That drone is horrible. I can tell it's horrible because I'm taking more counter attack off the CPO than damage from the drone. I mean, my Boudicca is still going to go down being triple swarm, but hey. I'm going to switch to the delicious drone. There's literally a Sundok hitting the, um, is that a Sundok skill? Tell me that was a Sundok hitting the Guan Garrison. Listen, I didn't expect this to be a good, um, a good idea. I thought I was just going to get, like, fully sad face, but we got a ton of kills out of that. I reckon the trades are actually positive. They were definitely positive. I mean, when you think of a Cleopatra Sundok with full T4, it kind of makes them positive, eh? Just, uh, the only thing I lost to was the Guan here. The Joan, kind of, I guess, but the Joan kind of was trash anyways. To be fair, for running my marches into the enemy, um, enemy cities, that worked out really good. And then the garrison went down pretty well, as, uh, pretty good as well. Some T2 in there. 100, who has 100,000 T2 infantry? That's crazy. Um, this garrison took a lot of damage. Boudicca got an okay trade. Alright, are we gonna go for... We've got to go for the Ark. We'll go now. March towards the Ark. I'll turn you off. Let's march all three. I don't have enough troops, that's fine. That's not a concern. I mean, I could grab the desert altar on the way there. 
I think that's um that's possible. How many points are we at right now? Seventeen thousand. That's not too bad. I'm the lowest, but oh well. is what it is. I guess I'm the peasant free to play. Um, Sao Sao Khan is not the march I would have expected. Maybe I'll come back for Desert Altar. I do want to make sure we get the Ark. Okay, you know what? I think we're going to get the Ark. I'll just nab the Desert Altar. Because they have a lot of structures right now. I want to take that altar back. How did they not get the shrine? That's confusing. What happened to the shrine? I don't even know. That's a... Yeah, we'll take that back. I mean, my Boudicca's gonna die, but... Is what it is. It's because I'm tanking for a cab garrison. I wonder why it hurts. Where's my Zulang going? I was confused. I just kept walking. Yeah, I'm gonna refresh. I think we got the arc, right? Yeah, okay, that's fine. There's a rally coming in on our obelisk, which has just me and Vine in it. Vane, but that's also fine. I mean, they're getting a few structures back, but we can just take them back. I'm gonna rally the shrine again when I get back to my city. Double Y is not his sport rally, but it's okay. I use the abilities. Everyone's uh, spelling words how they feel like today. Oh, they're gonna swarm that out. Okay, let's rally their obelisk. Should I rally the um sky altar? They're gonna swarm that out as well. We we'll just rally their obelisk. Okay? Rally, Zulang, sure bunny pal. I want to try it out. This, if this, uh, like, if one of these is full of troops, then I'll count on my rally and I'll go for these. But I think they're probably empty. I don't see why they'd be full. All right, rally is not getting any troops in it. That's the wrong battle. Oh, someone joined. Okay. We got one person in the rally. It's no, no, we didn't. We got no person in the rally. Let's get in that rally quickly. I mean, this might go down, but we should be able to just take it back. It doesn't look like we can get a rally off. That's crazy. I think we just added troops. I'll laugh if the enemies make like a mega comeback and win, but I still have my doubts. Oh, they actually did defend that. Okay, let me cancel the rally. Um, they took Desert Altar as well. Guys, they're making a comeback. <laughs> they march out. I don't care about these marches. M and YSG. Not enough troops. Right on. I'll march it manually. We've got enough archers, it's just they're all T, um, T5. Let's also march out. Where's Boudicca? Oh, she's inside a rally. Okay, well, what archer do I have left? I have a Sherbani Pound. That's fine. Alright, that's good. Let's go get the Desert Altar back. Um, we should win that. I would say we should. Just as a guess. Though, unless they've got a ton of troops in there, I'm not sure. We are going to get this altar back, I'm sure. It's probably not full of calves or anything. I'll check. Could be full of calves, which would be bad, but. The chat's so quiet. Is my stream broken or something? Or is it just no one's messaging? 
No, the chat is just that quiet. Alright, Desert Altar. What's in here? Uh, CPO, that's fine. I'll tank with my Zulane, which has infantry in it for some reason. No one is messaging, we're just watching. I mean, that's fair. I don't know how my Zulane got infantry in the march. But I'm just gonna roll with it. <laughs> the Zulang is. This is a very tanky CPO. What the hell? I should have probably rallied this instead of um trying to swamp. I mean, we should take it down. But. That was definitely a much tankier CPO than I thought. And uh, Herman's not a very good tank, especially Herman YSG, but that's what we're rocking right now. But yeah, I don't know how um, my Zulang ended up... I guess my Zulang ended up with T5 infantry from the automatic thing. That would have been like a pretty bad trade for me. Oh, I mean, it could have been worse. That doesn't matter. You see, T5 infantry inside your archer marches are actually a really good idea. I just forgot to... Um, next video, I'll recommend that. The secret to get good archer troops. Use infantry. 34,000 of them. Which is all the T5 infantry I own, I'm pretty sure. Can you not attack this for three minutes? No. Oh, increased defense by 50%. No wonder why they won that bloody rally. Jeez. <laughs> That's like a massive, a massive stat increase. Um, try to take that back again, I'm guessing. I mean, if we keep control of the arcs, we'll probably just win. And since our open field's better than theirs, we'll probably win. I think they just outnumber us on troops. Which is weird, because we're just entering KVK now, but... Okay, here's what it is. I mean, you've already won. Yeah, that's true. I mean, if they somehow made, like, a hectic comeback in the last couple of seconds, then maybe... Not last couple of seconds, but if they made a massive comeback now... They're at more points per minute than us right now, but if we disrupt their Sky Altar here, that will definitely be good for us. It's just that defense boost is making a bit a uh, very annoying take out. But yeah, they're at 300 points extra per minute, which at this rate they would win. But if we're able to take out some of their things, like I think we're going to get the Shrine. Yeah, that's going to go down. For them to win, they need to remove the um, your entire building game, which it just isn't going to happen. Yeah, I guess so. Next video, secret to become a great archer main, don't. <laughs> eyeball emojis. Um, Ryan likes those eyeball emojis. They took our shrine. Let's go get that. I don't want to rally it. I just want to attack it. Okay, first of all, march number one. Ooh, T5. Then, not rally. March number two. Ooh, T4. Then march number three. Ooh, T4 with a bit of T5. Right, this is the real murder ball. It's a bit whacked compared to what I'd normally run, but we're going to roll it. We're going to roll with it. I should be rallying things, but no one's joining rallies because everyone's kind of low on troops. So that's what we're doing now. What is in here? Hopefully a bunch of troops for us to kill. Or a million infantry to destroy us. Either one. I don't know what's in here. We're about to find out. Okay, and... Ah, oh, we can kill that. Okay, I'm going to use... um. I don't know, I use Yulang Henry as the tank, I guess, because that's technically my tankiest mark right now. This should still go down, I think. I mean, it's hitting hard, but not the hardest. I've been hit harder by garrisons before. It's hitting pretty hard. Probably going to kill this Yulang, but... Oh well. Is what it is. It would be great if Storybrooke attacked. It would definitely help in killing this garrison. But again, is what it is. Probably didn't need to pop an expansion for this arc, but who cares? It's just a few alliance credits. I'm gonna miss my Zulang. There's a pretty good timed Henry active skill. Oh, Story attack, GG. Now it's over for that garrison. I was going to say, is he running Britain? But that's just the default T5. Damn, 
a garrison will go down. This isn't even a garrison, I think it's just the drone. Nevsky drone they just put in there. Someone just put the Nevsky drone in there, it was like, yeah, we'll rock that. Um, Ark of Osiris, I think, not, is this called the Ark of Osiris? It's the Temple of Osiris. We kind of forgot about that. Yeah, need people in the middle, that sounds about right. We did get the Shrine of Life back though. <laughs> I think they're gonna get the arc that one time, but that's alright. If we lose from now though, it'd be very funny. We do have this sky altar. I mean, where would they take the arc? They're not even picking it up. Okay, let's start marching our marches. Number one. And then I also wanna fill it with T4. Uh, number two. Also want full T4. And number three. Also need to fill it with T4. I mean, where would they go with this? I'm going to say they're going to go to this. Yeah, they're going to go down there. Am I faster than them? How long till I get there? A minute? Two minutes. I'm not going to get there in time. <laughs> Depends how far they're marching, I guess. Yeah, but they're heading straight for the outpost. If someone can take out that march, then we could get the arc back, but if they can't, then I don't know. Oh, how far are these people? A minute. Still again, I don't know if we'll get it. Oscar oh, if Oscar can nab the, um, the outpost. Oscar, the peasant free to play. If he can nab the outpost, then we can probably stop him. the attack of alliance troops uh, when attacking 80% attack increase these skills are actually really nice <laughs> we've used no skills so far by the way let's use um to the death right here on Oscar's T1 we'll need to come back for this later Yeah, Vayne's fine is to attack and try to kill the cow cow. Bro, where would all these marches come from? Wait, he's running away? I'm so confused. Okay, well, he, the cow cow died. Now we just have to take the outpost. Which they could probably take back, but... See, I didn't see this many marches the whole entire arc. The peasant free to play? Yeah, I was just the peasant. His words, not mine. Actually, I think it's both. Yeah, he said that guy must be free to play, and I said, yeah, he's a peasant free to play. I mean, I think if you get if we get this arc, then it's GG, but if they get this arc, then it could still be anyone's game, but it would still be very tough for them to come back. Stay wherever you are at the flood. Hopefully that cow cow goes down. Damn, they got it last second. Well, that's not good for us. Now I'm going to go and ignore these troops and go get their Shrine of War instead. See what's in here. I mean, we got a lot of buildings out of that, though, because they really focused in on the center. And then we're going to get this Desert Altar back, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's definitely going to go down. How far is my scout? 24 seconds. I'll wait it. I'm ignoring these because now is the best chance to just actually try and steal some buildings, which will help us more than some open field fights. Yeah, we got that desert altar back. Ah, uh, CPO Lauche, I can take that out. Zulang is going to be the tank. Zulang's winning on the one-on-one -on -one trade, which is definitely good. Good sign. Obviously, their skill damage hurts more, but it is what it is. After this, I'll go up towards this guy also. If Storybook doesn't get it. But it should go down. This, I mean, this building is definitely going to go down. This 
play a good trade as well. Oh. Darkosaurus. I can see that guy. I'm going to go kill him after. If Vayne's rocking a Boudicca and he can slow it, that'd be good. It's a wire streak. So that's not as good, but oh well. Do I try chase? I don't think I'll be able to keep up. Yeah, that's no point. Oh, that shrine. Maybe we'll go down. I'm not sure. And then I don't know what they're doing on this side. They're probably going to go like appear out of nowhere in the shrine of life. Even with these enemy structures, if you don't hold them, as long as you disrupt them, it's always good. So, even if I can take this guy, I'll take it. If I can't hold it, it's fine. Because I, obviously, I can't hold it by myself with one march, but. We're currently at more points, which is definitely good. A lot more points, because we got our desert altar. And then if I take this sky altar, they'll be down out of points. And what was in there? Oh, that's actually pretty beefy. I think I'll use Boudicca to tank on this one. No, I'm going to position my thing so they don't eat Nebru's AoE. There's a rally coming in on the sky altar. I'll wait for it. And there is one. I think I'll wait for the rally then. And I'll swarm with the rally. We really need next arc. Get ready. Oh, we're doing that. Four minutes. Okay. Well, I guess I'll wait for this to get taken out and then I'll go next arc. Right. Good point. See. Hopefully he is titled. Oh, he is titled. He can use to the death. <laughs> Tyritus fell asleep. That's why we were losing. <laughs> 36 seconds. You're gonna write, was it really that boring? Yeah, this guy's annoying. Music is nice, so that's good. It's 12 a.m. for us American players. You mean you free to play peasants, right? Sorry, I mean I don't take the word of a free to play peasant. <laughs> I don't know what this CPO wants to achieve. But he's attacking a march that's full of AoE. Okay, now I can, um, first of all, kill this annoyance. I mean, the Boudicca would take it out, but uh, yeah, I'll leave the Boudicca there then, just to kill this guy, because he's annoying me. I don't know what he wanted to achieve, but he didn't kill any of my marchers, and he got fully destroyed. Let's see, did he even get a good trade in the Zulang? Guys, his trade was positive. No! Is Yulang still alive as well? Those Yulang died, he just went in the garrison. I'm not gonna go to Ark with these troops. I'm gonna go. I mean, okay, well, they're probably gonna get that, but I'm still gonna go there. I'll just refresh. I don't know why they keep using um these garrison skills. It's really annoying because it makes them really strong. Pretty much makes the garrison unable to take. They rallied that, so that's gonna be full of troops. I think we should hold this arc. Hold the arc if you don't know what that means. It means we just let it um, sit around.
going up top, top left, okay. Yeah, so holding the arc will pretty much guarantee us the win, I reckon. Because if they don't get the arc off us, then they can't win. Our structure game is um, only slightly weaker than this. See, this garrison skill is ridiculous. <laughs> you should be rocking those skills. Full T4. And I rock again. And we're only going to send two marchers. I sent full T4 on my moment. And I'm going to rally there. Um, there's it all to Henry, full T4 there. In the hopes of, you know, taking the desert altar. By the time this... I wouldn't hit that if I was, um, if I was him. Because his garrison skill is just, like, way too OP. The enemy shut up. Maybe I cancelled the rally because I was joining it. And then I'll march the Henry. Yeah. Oh, we're going to get that arc. I think we should be able to take that. If the enemies get too close, you just go onto the obelisk. Henry without gears. No, it's, it's Azulang, I think it's a primary, right? Unless I was actually rallying with Henry primary, which would have been an accident. Azulang was the primary, it's fine. Unless I was, I don't think I was rallying Henry primary, was it? Seems to me like Oscar's doing some peasant free to play thing by turning around there. Is he rocking T1? Yeah, okay. That's a peasant free to play thing to do. Um, this might go down now because it's lost the garrison skill. I forgot to attack this guy. He just forgot to attack us, that's fine. He thought he'd stand still for a bit. I don't know, for funsies maybe. He had some reason to stand still. Is that 41,000 damage I hit him for? What is he rocking T1 as well? If I was Slaughterhouse, I'd turn around right now and I'd hit um, the guy that's chasing. Oh no, he's gonna take that. Okay, I'm guessing we're not gonna hold it. I would just put it in now, because there's a guy literally on top of us. Even if we lose it, I guess we can just pick it back up. Alright, now it should be GG. I don't think they'll get, um... I'm out of troops, T1 is the way. See, that's the peasant free-to-play way, is what you're trying to say. This guy is back, I love this guy. He's just running to his death. There's no hope. It might be empty, but there's just no hope, my friend. His CPO is done for now. Whatever's in this garrison, I'm just going to swarm. Let me try rally this again. Number one. I said that to be an archer rally. We got that back. What seed is our kingdom? Our kingdom is an A seed. I don't think we're a high A seed. I think we're just, just an A seed. If this rally doesn't get anyone in it, um, is there someone in here?
Who's on the more points per minute? Ah, oh, it's basically the same. I mean, I can take this out now, that's fine. That Boudic is not going to last more than like two seconds. Is it rocking T1 or something? It's doing no damage. Um. Oh, this is rallying. We get like 10 troops in there, I'm guessing. I can put those in. We did, we got 28,000. We're gonna go to the Sky Altar. Um, this, this arc would be the final big thing. No way they score arc in three minutes unless we hard throw. Okay, well that's a good, Oscar's throwing good points in the chat. There's no way they win now unless we do hard throw, which I doubt's gonna happen. We'd have to like royally F everything up. <laughs> Like, we'd all have to get zeroed, leave out... Everyone's computer would have to crash and just go offline. And then they would have to have a systematic way of taking everything. I mean, they took our obelisk, but that's... Who cares at this point? You know, obelisks are mid. I was playing this one arc of Osiris where something super funny happened. We lost our obelisk, the enemies took it. But we took the obelisk at the same time, so what happened was everyone teleported to the other obelisk. And the map pretty much just inverted. <laughs> it was super fun. I mean, I'll let the rally tank this, right? Oh, the rally hasn't got 300k troops. I will probably tank it then with the Boudicca. I'd say Boudicca should tank. It's fine. I would rather my marchers tank than the rally. The rally is more important. Because the rally is going to deal more damage. Even though it's got 200,000 troops, it's just stronger. Wrong button. This is our sky altar now. We're now up around 250 points a minute, which is definitely more on our side. There you go. That's an easy take. I'm guessing we're going to start bowling for the arc at some point. I might go just there now. I refresh and get ready. Welcome to the stream, Shaw. Hope that I didn't butcher that. I know you're on like every stream and I always butcher your name, I'm guessing. They're rallying the obelisk with... Probably that's a lot of uh, infantry. It's like four, five 500,000. Probably 600 because they've got like one main account. Two main accounts down here and then two alt accounts they're using to fill those mains. Which is actually a good strategy for a small arc, but... We're just better because we're all main accounts. <laughs> yeah, there's around 600,000. I don't know where all these T2 keep coming from, but someone's rocking a lot of T2 in their alliance. T2 are the worst. There's literally no use for them. T T2 and T3. T1 troops, you can argue, can be traded and stuff and at least have some usage. But T2 troops and T3 troops are never used anywhere. Three minutes to arc. I think we can march there in time. I mean, I'm garrisoning this, but I'm guessing. Yeah, me, me, my, me, my, me, my voice. Me by myself. Okay, oh, I didn't butcher your name. Well, that's good. Usually, I mess up. Um, I thought I was always messing up your name. I'll march these, whatever's left of my archers there. Upgrade T2 to T5 since you can do dailies through T2 plus train larger quantities faster than upgrade. I mean, I guess, yeah, that's true. But that would be the only use for them. They wouldn't be useful in open field fighting, especially if you have 100,000 of them. If they had like 5, 10,000, but if they had a garrison with 100,000 T2 at some point. I think that one, you see. Oh, uh, it was the obelisk. Is this the obelisk one? Is it? No. Uh, try and try and try and. That's too far back. It must be a bit, a bit further forward. There's an altar. 
guy. And then we went to the obelisk. I don't know wherever the obelisk is. No, it's not there. It's somewhere in here. Shrine of War. Shrine of War again. Just click on the mold so I can find the obelisk. Here it is. Now that was a rally. That was our obelisk, like at the start of the arc, right? No, okay. So we're looking for the, the obelisk. Which would have been probably around here, right? That's our garrison. Here it is. Alright, this is the one where they had like, um... Yeah, 119,000 T2 infantry. You don't really need that many. They're probably just quick selecting, not checking their troops. Yeah, I guess that's fair. But we would keep to 120,000 of them. I get you can upgrade them, but, but like, you know. Bro, they're bullying Oscar right now. Peasant free to play is getting destroyed. I think they're just rallying cities. They've just given up. What's their score? Their best is 78. We've still got better score than them as well. Come save me, please. Nah. No need to save peasant free to plays, you know. <laughs> sure you know how it is. Anyways, it's GG now. There's no way they get 9,000 minutes in or uh, 9,000 points in three minutes. I won Arc of Osiris yesterday. This is the last Arc of 5v5s before the update. After this, uh, 15 people need to register. That's crazy. Really? You need to have 15 people to register after the update? I thought you always had to have 15 to register, but only 10 had to, like, play. I mean, then you just register, like... Then you just register, like, what, five farms? Let's make sure my audio is still working. So what I was saying is, then you just register, like, what, five farms? Like, 10 players, five farms. Like, really low power farms. Do I grab this? Because there's no one else here. I think it's more menacing just to stand next to it and not pick it up. And also, we're supposed to only use calves. Watch them score 9,000 points in 3 minutes. I mean, it would literally be impossible, would it not? Horrible update? It is a bad update idea. I mean, we we have like what? Just We could just pump the thing with like some rubbish farms we're not going to use. Like I'm saying like 100,000 power farms, that wouldn't really change much. Let's see in here. You see like this million power farm. Pfft. Yo, um, should I use my bagged resources on farms and send them to my main? I mean, that's what I did with my farm. Whenever I, um, when I used to have a farm. I'm gonna have a farm again soon, but yeah, that's what I do. I play in a group here, 1534, but my other accounts get screwed, rip. Are your other accounts also free to play peasants? I'm guessing your other accounts, like, you use them all in one arc kind of thing. You've got, like, a bunch in one kingdom. I mean, it might even make easier arcs if we fill them up with farms. So it's gonna say we have like 30 people. No, they took our obelisk. What are we gonna do? No, it's over for us. It's so over. Anyways, I'm thinking if they had the whole entire map, they get how many points per minute? Because if it, okay, right now it's 410 on each side plus the extra 150 that's missing. So that's a total of. That's 570, it's like 1,000, 980 points a minute, right? They had to get 9,000 points in three minutes. Would literally be impossible. I thought maybe if you score the arc, it might not be impossible, but it is just straight up impossible. How many marches do I use on the open field? I use three marches. Right now I'm rocking two, but that's because I'm kind of low on troops. No, I can't march into their safe zone. What a ripoff. Wait, I can march there. <laughs> what is back here? How would I even get back there? Where am I marching going? No, they're just standing there. Never mind. It just doesn't let you march there. It's a lie. Um, I play with one other player. We won yesterday against 370 to 80, 80 million T5 players. GG. Free to play peasants go hard, eh? Use five marches? No, I don't want to use five marches. I don't have enough gear and commanders for it. Slaughterhouse, the um, the MVP. I think that yeah, our arc scores what really won us that by that much. We're just too good at the arc, you know. We got more total kills. We took less sev wounds. You would have guessed. We healed more units. Someone healed two hundred thousand units. Anyways, GGs guys. 
we did win, which is always nice. Oh look, I got this. I don't know what those means. T2? Huh? Yeah, exactly. Anyways, guys. Everyone who came out to the stream today, thank you very much. I mean, this was definitely a fun arc of Osiris. We got our good old 10 gold. There's, oh, we've also got Osiris coins, which I'm probably going to save for now. I don't know what I'm going to buy with them. But yeah, definitely nice to get a good win. I think we lost last time I streamed arc, but we did win this time. So that's definitely nice. Uh, and I am excited for... I am excited for what's um, about to happen in my KVK. So I'm definitely gonna be doing a few more streams over the coming days, real open field fighting coming soon with the pass for opening. So if you're excited for that, do consider subscribing to the channel. And to everyone who came out to the stream today, it was a very fun time. I do appreciate it. Everyone who was chatting, thank you very much. And also thank you very much to Dragonite for this, um, not the sponsor, but for the super chat before. So thanks everyone who came out to the stream today and I hope to see you all in the next one.